All right, Trunkill here. I'm going to show you how to do the index of refraction of air experiment, just like we did over there with the air cell. We're going to do it here with uh, this apparatus that's connected here. So we have this right here is a pressure sensor uh, that's connected to the air cell that we're going to use in this apparatus, and then this open tube. Uh, this wire here that's coming out of the pressure sensor is connected over here on our uh, modern interferometry equipment here. That may not be connected when you want to do this experiment, so you want to make sure you connect there. It's just like a BNC connector. All right. Uh, we have a, a voltmeter uh, set to the 200 volt setting DC that's connected to the pressure sensor. And then if we zoom in here, Majid, you can see that uh, 10 volts corresponds to one atmosphere. All right. Now we can actually do uh, something a little different than the previous equipment. What we can do, what we did over there, was we evacuated the air out of the the air cell. Uh, which decreased the volume, increased the pressure. But we could do the inverse to here. We can actually start uh, here and increase the volume, decreasing the pressure, so we can really go both ways for this experiment. So what we're looking to find here is the number of fringes uh, and the change in pressure that's in our air cell. All right, so we're going to start with uh, the tube full of air. Then you're going to connect it to the hose that's connected to your pressure sensor. And then before you're going to take that, you want to make sure you hit the recess button, the, the reset button, and then you're going to slowly push the plunger in. And as you do that, you should, if I can get the plunger in here correctly, oop, you want to reset that for me. All right, so right now we're starting at 0.9, and as I push this plunger in slowly, you're going to see that I'm changing the amount of volts, and I'm also increasing the number of counts on my light sensor. So then once I go all the way through, I'm going to have a reading of 6, oh that was a 6, 6.1, I screwed that up. Yeah, but it doesn't matter because uh, the students could make a video of both this dial and this dial, and they can replay, so it doesn't matter, we can keep going. So there you go, I guess I didn't screw up. Alright, so here's what you can do then. Then you can remove it from here and start by putting the plunger all the way into the syringe, then connect it to the hose. And then go the other way. Oh, get that for me. There we go. So now I could start by evacuating the air. So I'm still getting fringes, and you can see that the voltage is now a negative. And again, we're just looking at the change, so you can see that just for some sample data here. When I go the full length of the plunger, I get a minus 3.7 volts, which is a change in pressure of 0.37 atmospheres and I went 32 fringes. Perfection. Perfection. All right, we're good to go. See you later.